Hi, and welcome on to the All Guns Blazing podcast with my man, Mr. DT. Is it? In the building. Uh, we're with our guys, Calio, again. We've got one more of these to give away, right? We've given away well, we've got about four of these now, right? Something like this that. This is the last one of these to give away. It's a nice quality. Calio on the back. Of course, Calio is the brand new app where you can follow us. It's a calendar app. You can follow Arsenal Fan TV, find out what we're up to. We're going over to the World Cup, if you want to find out our itinerary and everything for that, check out the Cali O app um, and win yourself one of these T-shirts, sweat top, should I say, the last one available. You're not having it, Mr. D. Actually, let me keep it here, man, because I've heard about it. I've already it. got one. I've heard about a man like you. you know I've already got mean? one. Right. Um, so listen, Fool. smile on your face. <laughs> Big smile on your face. Yeah. What do you think about, we get straight to it, what do you yeah. make of the appointment of Unai Emery? I'm happy. I'm, I'm really happy. You're not There's... sad that we didn't get Arteta? No, we spoke about that. It wasn't, you know, that inspiring name that made you, you know, and yeah, we wanted an Allegri, but we got the next best thing that's available, to be quite mm. honest with you. And at the end of the day, People can mock and say that, you know, he won trophies in um, Paris with PSG and stuff like that. He won the treble. You still have to go out Just there and do the job. Just on the back of winning the treble, isn't You it? know, if you're going to sit there and criticise the man for failing in the Champions League, then you might as well criticise and have a go at Pep Guardiola because he failed in the Champions League. Good point. Good point. Even when he went to Bayern Munich, mm. he failed in the Champions League. Look at the squad that Bayern Munich had got. Look at the squad that he's had this season and he, he like you said, he, he went out to Manchester City. Yeah, and then you've got people like Ancelotti. When Ancelotti was manager of PSG, he lost the league to Montpellier. So right, he didn't have Neymar, did he? No. I mean, but... he, he, he did just have Neymar, Cavani, Mbappe. Mm -hmm. I know. He had a wonderful but, team. Do you know what? It's like a po poison chalice, I think. So many egos. Mm. The moment Neymar come in, you already saw the problems that was happening on the pitch over penalties. Cavani went to take a free kick and then Dani Alves come over and wrestled the ball off him just to give it to Neymar. You could see there was problems on the pitch. Mm. Quality players weren't getting in the side. Draxler couldn't even get in the starting eleven. Di Maria couldn't get in the side. It's just a job that's just, yeah, you've got all that talent, but mm. there's so much going on behind the scenes. And despite that, he still won the treble. Still won the treble. Still won mm. the treble, you know, and people will sit there and talk about, you know, his Champions League performance when he was, you know, they lost that second leg 6-1 to Barcelona, for example. And a lot of things happened in that game. Oh, yeah, that was bad. Right. Um, I mean, if people actually look back at that game, I said it at the time, I thought that game was a bit scandalous, some of the decisions. Yeah, right? but then oh, yeah, you know I, that, you I know. like to look at the first leg where he destroyed Barcelona 4-0. Mm. You know, things like that. And let's not talk about a man failing in the Champions League when you lot have supported a manager that's failed in the Champions League for 20 years in Arsene Wenger. So... You never supported Arsene Wenger, did you? In what? You never ever supported Arsene Wenger. Yeah, of course Wenger. I did. Well then. But that's what I'm saying. Well, you, the, said, no, you said you lot, what no, I'm you saying, like it's everybody else. No, I'm just saying it. All right. Mm. Calm yourself. I'm not a certain someone. I'm not trying to blame you, it all on you. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, what it sounds like. You, no, no. At the end of the day, I, I'm I'm happy. There's a feel good factor around the club. There's a few little dickheads that want to try and, you know, bring things down and still. Um, and you know what? I want to say this. I have to say this because I need to keep the movement going, man. There's a block John Cross movement going on Twitter right now, and it's gone viral. The thing is huge. Why? It's hashtag block John Cross. Now we're not. So, listen, hold he on. Isn't. I'm not getting involved listen, in that. He isn't. And I'm he not isn't. supporting that. I will say the Arsenal fan TV, Robbie, and all that is not supporting it or anything. I'm saying it. Why? Why are you going to block Because he's a prick, right? Oh. And all he's done. <laughs> all he's done. What has he right, done? First and foremost, he had his nose put out of joint by the fact that Arteta never came along. Right. Right. All of the reporters did. I loved what Ivan Gazidis did to all of them. Literally just slapped them all in the face, right? Because they all got run around giving it. Then the moment Emery comes in, it's now like his fingers have been burned and he's trying to, you know, go after Emery. But some hold of on, the stuff, no, some of the stuff that he's been reporting over the last couple of days. Like Emery sits there and does his interview, right? And talks about what he wants to achieve at Arsenal. Right, I much rather 
Emery say what he said, which was, um, we need to be challenging. We need to win titles. We need to be in the Champions League. I want my manager to say that. OK, it doesn't mean we're going to get it, but I want my manager to have that mentality. We need titles. We need to be right up there. I don't want my manager saying, um, well, you know, if we get in the top four, get in the Champions I don't want none of that. It's not inspiring. That doesn't give you anything as a fan. But then John Cross goes after him after it. Sets his sights too high. Only the 30-odd points to catch up with Man City. Undermining everything he's saying. Why not support the guy? Undermining or being realistic? No, undermining him. The simple fact <laughs> is, you know the problem with John Cross? He's not going to get a book deal out of Emery. That's the problem. Oh, so, on, hashtag... Block John Cross. Uh, Everyone listen, is trending. Let, let, me, let me just say, let me it's just, trending. Let me just Arsenal say something. fans have had enough of him. Let me just say something. And right? can I just say one other thing? Jonathan Liu, he's another one. Block him as well. Let me because just, he's let me, now starting on Emery, making jokes about him because some of his English is not correct. Well, and I some thought, of the things thought, he said. I, I think thought he's, he's done, done brilliant. He's done well in that press conference. Remember when Pochettino came here? He couldn't speak. Even, even when he went to Tottenham, he had After a After being at Southampton, After he still a, had a yeah, trend. you know, and Antonio Conte as well. And, then he, and, do, do you know and what? it will improve in time. Do you know what? It? It's infectious. And I watch him and how hard he's trying to speak English and how hard he's trying to, you know, come across and integrate with the fans to say, you know, I don't want there to be a barrier between us. I don't want to try and speak in my native tongue and someone can just tell you what I'm saying because there's kind of a barrier in between us. I want to be direct with you, so bear with me. It's my fourth language. Let me get there eventually, but I want to try and, you know, come across as best I can so that we as, as a club can all just kind of unite together. Mm. And some of the things, you know, it's not even taking the piss, but some of the words that he comes out with and the way he pronounces them is absolutely hilarious, but that's what makes him so infectious. Come on, you gonna. No, 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 that's Mesut Ozil. <laughs> but when he says um, some of the words he was coming out with and uh, the word explain, when he says that and he goes, I explain! <laughs> and it's just like, it's, but, but it's, I love it. And it's like he's really trying and you well, can see the, in his face that he's really trying. Hold on one second, just rewind back a minute. It's John Cross thing now, right? And I, and, and I see like people tearing into John Cross, tearing into various people. Good. Oh, their ITKs, this, that. Good. Hold on, they're reporters. I think people get no, carried... No, 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 no. Let me, no. Let me, you right, said you a say lot. what you got to say. You said a lot, right? Listen to that now, right? And for various other people out there, these guys are reporters. That's their job. They're journalists, right? So if they're being getting information that Mikel Arteta, which we all know, this, this is a fact. It is an absolute fact that Arsenal were looking to appoint Mikel Arteta. They, they, he was the front runner. He, he, even, even though they didn't come out openly, because he doesn't no say that. No one's denied that. Right, he was the front runner. And these guys have been reporting that he's the front runner. Nobody's denied Looks that. Looks like he's going to be um, Arteta taking over. Arteta this, Arteta that. You're completely missing the point. Hold on. Out of nowhere, right, Emery came. I know that they said these, you know, um, because okay, said point. eight candidates and stuff like that. I'm not convinced that Emery wasn't a sort of late comer to the scene with this whole thing, right? Out of nowhere, Emery's come. He's come in, he's really impressed them, and he's got the job. I can't... No, I don't agree with this thing now where everybody's going to say, right, now I'm going to turn on a John Cross. You're, because you're not you listening. said that Arteta was coming you're, in. No, you're not, you're not listening. Thought Arteta you're not was listening. Coming. Nobody's turning on him because he said Arteta's coming. So what, what's the problem then? Because since... Arteta's not come in and it's Emery, all he's done is get on his back. All he's done... He's a journalist, his no, job no, is no, to no, question, no, no. His, his job is job, to... His job is to try and stay relevant as long as he can. He is All he's doing is trying to cause the fractions and the split within he's the fan base. Journalist. He doesn't like the fact that Arsenal fans are actually getting together right now. He doesn't like the fact that there's no rivalry between and the split that there was. Why? Because they haven't got no stories anymore. They ain't got nothing to report they on. They will have stories uh, no matter what. I don't, we, we get, listen, we get the same thing. I get people... I've had people saying to me since Arsene Wenger left, oh, what are you going to do? 
But what you report is a lie. We're going to do. But what you report is not a lie. We're going to follow the new guy. But what you report is not a lie. This is what on, you're not on. understanding. When you do an interview after the game, nothing there's a lie. Nothing. No, but what I'm trying to say to you is that people like John Cross, even though John Cross is an Arsenal fan, he he's an Arsenal followed, fan. He's an Arsenal no, he fan. Ain't. He no, is. he ain't. He is. He's not an Arsenal he fan. Is an Arsenal he is fan. not an Arsenal Hold fan. He is not an Arsenal fan. He's followed Arsenal for years. He was. Really? He used to work on the Islington Gazette right up he's been an Arsenal fan for years he's not guy, an Arsenal right? fan he's an Arsenal fan but he's also a journalist and he has to do stories he's he works for the Daily Mirror he has to um, he lies do... oh. he lies only two days ago that he got call... a... only two days ago he got called out by Peter Shilton because he published an article lying about a conversation with Maradona and Shilton and Peter Shilton called him out over it and John Cross had to actually phone him and apologize to him. All right, that happens in general. No, he's a liar. He is a liar. Uh, he is a liar. You, can, you, you guys get he's a so liar. Carried, John Cross. You guys get so carried Smithers. away. And hit up Smithers. about these sort of Smithers. issues. Smithers. Right? Smithers. So you've never got nothing wrong. If you, everything you've this done... This is not about getting things wrong. This is about you'll be, lying. You, you, you'll be, this is, listen, Robbie, you've never got nothing wrong. you're clearly you, misunderstanding. This is not about no. getting things wrong. No, you're giving... The guy's giving his opinion... No, he isn't giving Emery his opinion. And he's not, that's not no, a lie, No, he is isn't. It? He is... What he's doing What is, lie did he tell right, about Emery? Right. So what's the lie? What he's doing is, is he's trying to cause divide. What is fans, the lie? Listen, you said he's a liar. If what fans, lie is Listen, if fans didn't agree with what is going on, with blocking him, then it wouldn't have gone viral. There's a reason why it's going viral and why literally hundreds and thousands of people are actually blocking him. Is hundreds of thousands? Not hundred, hundreds and thousands. Not hundreds of thousands. Listen. Yeah? What the reason he lie about? why? The reason why, because what he's doing is causing a divide within the fan he's base. He's got an That's opinion. What, no, 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 no. You've got an opinion, I've got an opinion. This he's is the same guy that sat there and ridiculed Arsene Wenger right, then started licking his ass, then started ridiculing him, then started licking his ass when he left, when People he was going People could argue that you no, had you a guy in for years, you already know. next minute I'm, an, a, I'm a fan. Photograph. Right. Yeah, hello, Arson. Right, well, hold on. Hashtag mercy. I, mercy there was also. no mercy in right. there at all. Right, right. right. Secondly, picture, picture I'm an Arsenal on. fan. No, picture no, no, your I'm around. an Arsenal fan. What about that? I'm an Arsenal fan. I am an Arsenal fan. John Cross is a fucking parasite. He's not an Arsenal He's fan. An Arsenal I fan am a real is. Arsenal fan. At He's the end an of the day, as well. I explained what I had to explain over Arsene Wenger. Don't need to do it again. Let's not talk about pictures when you've had your arm round fucking Deli Ali. I didn't have so, my arm round Deli. Dude, Deli, Deli, Deli. Right. Let me see your fucking pubes. <laughs> Fuck off, man. Nah, bullshit. Well, it sounds like you're getting a bit hit nah, up about because this, John it? Cross is a fucking dickhead. <laughs> He's a dickhead, bro. I can't stand the boy. You're getting a bit red, bro. Nah, man. You're getting a bit angry, man. Nah, he's getting yeah, a, right. he's a fucking idiot. Do some water, yeah. Yeah, water. Right. Water, 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 yeah. Right. As a water. That's a water. I'll lick you with this fucking water in a minute, you know. <laughs> John Cross is an Arsenal fan. No, he ain't. He is. No, he ain't. Let's do a poll. Sat... Is John Cross an right. Arsenal fan? <laughs> 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 you and your polls, right? I don't John... think he's ever let me have a poll yet. Tao, has he ever let me have a poll? Anyway, no. you know, let's let's move on for John Cross, but he is an Arsenal yeah, fan. Yeah, we, 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 right? we, 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 we've helped the you know, movement. You know, the thing is, right, forget the, I, I just think the people, I see people and uh, they'll be like, oh, you said that he was coming. If you believe everything that newspapers or people throughout the transfer window tell you, yeah. right? I do a transfer show every single day and I speak about players that have been rumoured to Can I be, just... Uh, uh, let, me, let me just finish, yeah? That's players fine. that have been rumoured to be coming to Arsenal, yeah? I know, yours are just rumours. Uh, hold on. I'll I know, yours it, are rumours. Hold on, I'll make it's it cool. very clear with the show that these are... This player's been linked, that player's been linked, this is a rumour. I'll get people having a go at Listen, me saying, yeah, Robbie, you said... The clue... You said the clue is in the beginning. He's coming, but... Uh, the said, clue is yeah, in I the never, beginning. I never said no one was Hi, coming. Hi, and welcome I to Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that are linked. Exactly, but then... That's but people the, don't... I'm not but saying that's the that. Point I'm, I know. I know you're not saying, but that's the point I'm trying to make is that people will still... Even despite your saying, okay, I'll give you, I'll give you an example. I'll you, give you an I, example. Like, I definitely said that person. Let me give you an example. Wait there. What's that now? 
<laughs> the plug, all right. <laughs> <laughs> again, again, no, again, in defence of um, the plug, because he's not here, right? He's heard something. All right, maybe he shouldn't have gone as bold. I, I said to him, I go, when you go bold with stuff... Let's put that there. <laughs> <laughs> right? When you, I said to him, when you go bold with stuff, you have to get it right. I know, I've said this before on this show, that I got... Right, As, I, I, I never forget it with um, what's his name again? Oh, he forgot his name. The Lowit Remy. Lowit Remy. When I got the call, and yeah. I said they said Robbie's at the definitely one hundred percent happening. And then that night he was at the Chelsea yeah. scarf. The next day the man was at Chelsea. Yeah. He decided at the last minute he's not going to play. He's not going to sign for Arsenal no more. So you can get stuff, and I'm sure that guy Plug said that in good faith. But it's just not worked out that way. It's just like um, it's just like you know his biggest problem. Was the arrogance? He, yeah, that right. was his biggest downfall. Because he got he got he got the Abamyang rumor right when he said that Abamyang. There was two people that said Abamyang was coming. He was the first person who said it, mm. and I was like Abamyang. Even I said it to him. I go Abamyang. He goes Robbie Abamyang. We're talking to him. He's going to be coming. I go okay. Yeah, all right, mate. Yeah, he ended up coming. He was the first person. Mm. So like, he does obviously hear some things, yeah, like right? Like I said, all it was. was and I remember then. I remember arrogance. then. I then did another interview with Guillaume Balagay. Everybody was slating him. I was, I was sort in the. Oh, what does he know? He got this wrong, and he got it right. They Guillaume, got it right. Guillaume so, Balagay was the one that came out with Emery first. Right. Exactly. Exactly. I, but yet know, still, you know Guillaume well? Balagay. These guys say these things because they hear it. Well, they say it in good faith. They're can not, I just say? There are some, obviously. There I are some dodgy say, ITKs out can, there. Just can trying I, to can get... I just say with Guillaume, right? He seems to be very, very correct about a lot that goes on within Arsenal lately since Raul's turned up at the club. He's got his links, Someone man. that he's he got, knows from Barcelona. He's got very good connections. I and, think and, that maybe stuff's and, getting drip and fed again, to him. And again, other people have a go at him. And, I, and you know, when you speak to that guy... You know, even just speaking to him in general, off the, he's such a genuine he was guy. The first and one. he's a guy that, like, he he has, he's very opinionated, and he has mm. his, you know. But people sometimes get no. too. He, he was the first. One, he was the first one that come up with Emery, and I remember that on the morning when he said YouTube video coming out later. Mm. Um, Unai Emery. Blah, although blah, blah. he, although he also was like literally saying that Arteta had the job yeah, as well. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to say. So. People have got to be, I don't know, people get a bit carried away with all these, uh, and I'm going to take this down, because we, we'll be trying to ruin this guy, right? <laughs> um, people, get, people get carried away. These guys, a lot of times they hear, there's two different types of people. There's people, like you said, that get good information, maybe they go bold with it if it don't turn out, right? They get slaughtered. But then there's other people that they don't know nothing, they're making it up. Mm. And they're literally, and then it's a, you know, and they, they build accounts off of it. Yeah, you know, but and people, but it's up to people to take it with a pinch of salt. Don't get carried away. And also, been also fans over the years have been easy targets during transfer windows because we're so desperate sometimes to see somebody yeah. coming in, and we never seem to get anyone. But but going back to going back to Une Emery, you're happy then. You're happy yeah. with the appointment. Yeah. Um, w what we know about him is a very meticulous guy. He's a he's a guy that um. You know, pays a lot of attention to detail. He's a guy that likes to play intense football, something yeah. that we've not Pre seen for a while game. with Arsenal. Pressing. He's a guy that likes to drill his teams about when we don't have the ball. So he's ticking a lot of boxes. He's a guy that's very animated on the touchline. We've complained for years about Arsene Wenger yeah. being too quiet on the touchline. He's his guy, number two. Have he's number two as well. He's <laughs> very two. lively. There ain't going to be no Steve Bold sat there right? with his. Hands in his pocket. Yeah, his so number two is just as we're getting much. A, you know, we're getting a lot of what we sort of wanted, but I think also we're going to be have to be patient with this guy. Of course. Are you Listen, going I've, to be patient uh, let me explain with Une you. Emery? Let, let me explain something to you. I was patient with Arsene Wenger for more than 14 years. I didn't turn around and want Wenger out after one defeat. Do you know what I mean? Where's this whole myth come from? People just seem to think I'm that you, just because I wanted Wenger out that all of a sudden I'm going to want the next manager out within two, three games. A lot of us fully supported Wenger and were fully behind Wenger for 14, 15, 16 years. That's why I'm right now. No, that's what I'm But no, but do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this whole thing, we know that things are going to take time. If you were to tell How long are you giving this guy then? 
it needs a minimum three years. Minimum three years. Pep Guardiola needed a year before he Im implemented his plans. Never won anything in his first season at City. Everyone was laughing at him. We beat him in the semi-final of the cup. They looked all over the place. He was tweaking things left, right and centre. You know, and it, it will take time. If you, you know, if you were to turn around and say to me now, you'll get either, you know, top four or win the Europa League and get back into the Champions League. Not both, but either one of those for the first season. Take that all day long. What? Yeah, I was going to ask you that, actually. What for you would be... What would you be... You're Ivan Gazidis for a minute. Happy with for what, the first season. What are you going to be happy with for the first getting season? Getting back in minimum, the Champions minimum, League. Minimum, minimum, minimum getting back in the requirement. Champions League. If you can add a trophy to that, then you've had an it's amazing season. not going to be easy getting no, back it ain't. in the Champions League. But I look at the table and how it finished. We were four wins away from being in the top four. We had an unbelievably shit season. But yet we was only four wins away. Our away form stops us getting into the Champions League. Mm. Our home form... Second best with Manchester United and only behind Man City. Record amount of goals at home. <coughs> home form's fine. If he can keep that going, he's getting the balance right away. Four. Four wins, Robbie. That's all we were. Four wins away from a Champions League place. That's not a lot. Mm. When you think we only won four away from home. So if we would have turned even some defeats into draws and you add those up, you know, over three, four games as well. There's an extra four points there. So we weren't, we were that, we were miles away, but we weren't miles away, if that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It was like, so. From the top four, not from the. No, league. no, no. So that's what I'm saying. So although it will be difficult in this first season, it's not inconceivable that we could do it. Mm. Because I think from the middle to the front, we've got a seriously good side. And you're going to have Aubameyang, Lacazette, full seasons, like full rest over the summer as well. They're going to get full pre-seasons. Ramsey's going to get a full pre-season. Uh, Mkhitaryan. If, if, if he stays. Mkhitaryan, well, Emery's made it pretty much clear who he wants to build the team around. And I've got a feeling that Aaron Ramsey's going to be named captain. Right, so Mkhitaryan's going to get a full rest in the summer. You know, so a lot of our players in that attacking third are going to have lovely, relaxed summers. They're going to come on pre-season. There's going to be no interruptions, turning up late, World Cups. Or... So we've got no excuses if we go mm. out and get the players that we need as well, which we do need to do. And then also, I do believe that this guy could make some of our players step up a level, the ones that have been underperforming. Not mm. Mustafi, get in the bin. Well, I was going to ask you, right? Listen, I don't want listen. him at all. I'll tell you, I, I'm, I'm going to... It's a bit of role play right now, right? So I'm... Ooh, role play. I'm Gazidis. Get freaky, are we? <laughs> bit of role play, right? <laughs> bit of role play. You know how much I love you, right? So... <laughs> uh, hey, listen, listen. <laughs> you know how I love you, right? <laughs> That's right? telling to Barry White. <laughs> <laughs> so a bit of role play here, right? Okay. I'm, Gaz I'm Gazidis, right? right? you got the same hair. I've got the same hair as Gazidis, right? Um, you've come in, you're Unai Emery, you're not as stylish as him, but you're Unai Emery, you've come in, right? You're not as stylish as Unai, you see, you see him, man, he looked dapper in his suit and everything, man. But... Yeah, wait till he's on that touchline, man, and he's got his hat on and everything, he's having it. He'll be like Tony Pulis on him, <laughs> no, no. right? But um, you're, you're Unai Emery, you've come in to me for the interview, mm -hmm. right? And you've produced your dossier, because they, what, what, what they said is he had a dossier on every single Arsenal player. That's what blew them away, apparently. Talking about strengths, weaknesses, and how he can improve them and stuff like that, and what he's going to want. And yeah. So, I'm going to have a quick run. Give me a quick run through. Yeah. Give me a quick run through of your dossier, right? Uh -huh. So, you've done your dossier, right? Yeah. Uh, check. What's your dossier on saying on him? Um, I would like to see him under a strong goalkeeping coach again to see whether he can rediscover his form of Chelsea because it's amazing how badly he dipped from coming to Chelsea to Arsenal and you don't just turn that bad overnight and it's no coincidence that he's not the only goalkeeper that we've had at the club that's underperformed and when they're at other places they perform better. So you're thinking of keeping him? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ospina? No. No? No. No hope at all? No, I think he needs to go and get first-team football somewhere else. I, okay. think, I think if we're going to challenge and be the best, 
we need a higher level of goalkeeper. Okay, what's your dossier saying on Hector, Hector Bellerin? Teach him how to defend, when to go, when to not go, when to press, when to not press, how to cross a ball. That's a lot, that's a lot in your dossier. Well, he needs a lot of work. But I do believe he's got it in him. Worth keeping? Yeah, definitely. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, um, your dossier on Mustafi. What's your dossier saying on, on him? Um, how much is his plane fare? Because I'll pay it out of my own pocket. So your dossier is just not, you're not impressed? I'm not impressed at all. There's nothing you can do to improve him? Nope. Nothing? He's poor. He's poor. But when he first came in at Arsenal, he wasn't poor. Even, he was doing. Even, he, he was even, playing. Even remember, he had that run with him. Rides, and everyone keeping rides all on clean a wave. Everyone rides on a wave. No, he's poor. I've seen you enough. can't improve him. Even, this even, is what even, we brought you even, into him. We brought even, you in to improve these can't guys. Can't improve him. Get we rid paid of a him. lot of money. Get Thirty-five rid, yeah, million. Get rid of him. Get a bit of the money back. We're, we're not going to get. We're not going to get back our full thirty-five million. No, you won't. This is why we brought you in. We want you to improve this guy. At the end of the day, he's beyond improving. Even Joachim Lowe doesn't rate him because that's why he didn't take him to Germany for the World Cup. Okay. Um, Koscielny? I know he's got an injury at the moment, but... Um, can, you, can you see a way forward with his guy? It's, he could be experienced within the squad, but whether he's ever going to rediscover himself, I very much doubt it. And Gee. no one will actually know until he's... Finish the injury. Mm. So How's he going to... Because you've got to remember he's had an Achilles problem leading up to this. It's a severe Achilles injury that he's got. Mm. You know, he could he could conceivably be another Santi Cazorla. So what do you think? Keep him? Sell? I think you've got to no, wait... No, you've got to keep I, him. I, he's, you've he's, got to keep him, but I think you've got to wait <clears> to see how he comes back from the injury. I don't think mm. you can make any decision. If he comes back, it's whether... Because he's already lost his pace. Like he's lost that half a yard that he used to always have that got him out of trouble. That turn. He's already lost that, Robbie. So how badly is it going to be affected Ivan, now? Ivan, my name. My name's Ivan. Oh, sorry, Ivan. <laughs> sorry, Ivan. <laughs> All right. Listen well, to this guy. He's taking his role play serious, isn't he? I'm taking it serious. Um, we've got a couple of good youngsters in the centre-back positions. Mm -hmm. How do you improve Callum Chambers? Or is he? Is, is this... Um, is he the way forward? Uh, is he the future? I think that he's on his last legs. I think he's probably got one more year to impress. I yeah. saw some bits from him at the end of the season where he looked really good. When Mustafi weren't playing next to him, he didn't look like a clown. It was like Mustafi rubbed off on him. So keep him? I'd keep him and see if we can develop him even well, more. Uh, Rob Holding. Same again. You only have to look at the season he had before last. Last year didn't work out investigate as to why it didn't work out. Mm. Okay, well I saw your dossier, you have more than, uh, what, what you said about uh, Monreal, that's great, we know he's had an excellent season, but uh, Kolasinac? The guy's got to learn to put his shorts the right way around first. <laughs> you see him in his new photo shoot, <laughs> couldn't put his shorts the right way around, Jesus Christ. But again, find out why he dipped so alarmingly in comparison to his first start of the season. You remember when he first joined? Mm. Fans loved him. Remember the Community Shield and he was running through brick walls. And we were like, yeah. You know, look at why he got into the Bundesliga team of the year. Ahead of people like Alaba. Come on. Got to have something about him. So is it the style of football we were playing that wasn't suited to him? Is the Premier League not suited to him? They're the only kind of things that you will find out when you get on the training pitch and you get to mm. work one-on-one -on -one with that it's person. worth keeping? Yeah, it's worth keeping. Okay. Um, but at the same time, if the, they feel that, you know, he isn't cut out um, for the league or whatever, then we can make a profit on him because we sign him for nothing. Okay. So if we do have to cut ties, we can make money. Granite Xhaka. We paid a lot of money for this guy, £35 million, and we've just not seen well, our return at the, the, the moment. Thing, the thing is, Ivan, is that, there's a guy from Arsenal <laughs> Fan TV called Robbie, yeah? You may, may or may not know him. I know he's bugged you a few times outside the stadium by Highbury House and whatnot. Um, can't miss him. Um, but, yeah, he, um, he seems to have an agenda against him, but I don't. Oh, yeah, I, there's no agenda against him. I'm saying that, you know... Excuse we, me? So don't you don't think break character. I'm not breaking character. Yeah, you this just said, still, I believe... This no, is still it, Ivan talking. I'm the person who spent the money on him, and I'm not happy with the return that I've seen on this guy since he's okay. come in. I'm not well, happy. Well, what um, we're going to do is... Now, what, first of all, what I would like to find out is what is his best position? His best position is not a defensive midfielder. 
His okay. best position is not to try and do every job and sit in front of that <clears> back <throat> four. So what? His best position is to play alongside someone that is more specific in the defensive midfield role. So is he, so is let he him a off his... attacking player or is he a defensive? No, box to box, what is he? What does he do? a midfield area. He's got to cover that midfield area, but what? not... Yeah, but not could you be a bit more specific? Central. Central, Start, as in play alongside, defensive? Play alongside a defensive midfielder. Right. Yeah, and he's the one that... Where the defensive... Yeah, luxury player. No, 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 no. That's Mesut Ozil. Now, when he breaks things up, the defensive midfielder, it's then Shaka's next job to then release the attack. Oh, so we need he's two the... players now to do the job he should be, should be doing. No. Or, or, um, it's about formation. Be... We're not playing the same formation as Arsenal. Become... No, the dossier's not getting confusing. You're just trying to fucking be a prick. <laughs> no, I'm asking you a question. Listen, right? Ivan. What does he... Can you please tell me what type of midfielder he is? Is he a defensive He's a midfielder, creative midfielder. A boxer... He's a creative midfielder. So maybe him instead of Ozil then? No, totally different players. You're getting it twisted. Mesut Ozil's a number 10. Mm. Dependent on the formation and the teams we play. Remember that. We're not going to stay rigid with one formation. We're never going to change the mm. formation like we have done before. Mm. At the end of the day, my preferred formation is a 4-2-3-1. So we get but, the best out of him as playing him as a creative player and not as a... Within the two in front of the back four, but being... You don't have two so solid... Unless you're going away from home, maybe, and playing one of the other big sides and you really need to shut up shop and mm. then you can maybe take him out and put someone who's more defensive-minded next to a defensive mm. midfielder. So will, will he be a regular in the team then? Because we if spent a lot of yeah, money on this If he guy. proves himself, yeah, he's still got to... Right, so we drop out who then? Because you're the position you're saying to play in, does that mean we leave out Ramsey? See, this is the thing. Wilshire, this, is, well, this, is, this is what you're not understanding. This wouldn't, <coughs> have been, no, this wouldn't have been the actual conversation. He wouldn't have been sitting there saying to him, who are you going to leave out? Who are you going to... Wouldn't have been like that. No, because he now you've found a new ask, position for no, him. No, 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 because at the end of the day, you haven't found a new position. You're just playing him in his rightful position, which is why you spent the money in the first place. Go look at him for Switzerland. Go look at him when he was at um, Gladbach. Go and have a look at his play. And there's a difference as to why he's so poor. I don't think the guy even knows where his position should be within the team because he's just been left out hung to dry. To what, as so that. his position is... Just, in, just re Remind me again. So just next a, to the defensive midfielder, but with more okay. free reign. And so he can start to release the ball quicker with his mm. longer range passing a as well. defensive midfielder point five. Kind of, if you oh, want to go half that. Half a defensive midfielder. You want midfield. to go that. Okay, all right. Um, we'll move on now. Uh, Aaron Ramsey, you can improve him. Yeah, got to improve his injury record. <coughs> that's the only bit that's inconsistent Should we keep him, him, do you reckon? Of course. Yep. Probably going to be captain of the team. Jack Wilshire? Keep him. Okay. And how do we improve him? And what's his best position? Um, again, you'll see that when they start playing and what your formations are. You're never going to have the same team every week. Maybe a couple of times, but not mm. every week. This is, this is the thing about being at a big club. Mm. You don't Mick want 11 players that are just, you know, great players. And then you want players, you know, you want to see some great players on the bench as well. Because mm. they should be fighting to take the position off someone else. And, you I know, think Shaka will suit your style of play. Your style of play is very, yeah. you know, you, you really demand a lot of work and intensity and... Uh, yeah. You know, you think Shaka will suit your style? Go and look at my style when I was at Sevilla. So you think he'll suit it? Yeah. Mm. I thought you may maybe you want to bring in like um, an Inzonzi or somebody like what you had before. Because what, did, what did I just Shaka's say to you? Not quite what did the... I just say to you? Mm, Jack we need an actual. What did instant. I just say to you? We need a defensive midfielder. Mm. Yeah. To do the job so that when... he was supposed to do. That's oh. not his job. Okay. That was the job that was given to him by the former manager, which was wrong. <laughs> Okay, um, let's move on. It won't be. I won't get into Mkhitaryan and Aubameyangs and people like Lacazette um, because we know they'll be. But the one that um, was very interested to find out what your dossier is going to say on is it won't be. Whether we can rediscover his form from Barcelona 2016. That's the simple thing. If not... Possible? It is possible. 
with the right man Even management. if we do discover that, you think he's the right... But then at the same time, there's two options, which is we send him out on loan to another Premier League side, not a lower level. Go to the Premier League to see whether he can play week in, week out and cut it. Uh, and whether he can rediscover that form or we've got to cut the losses. And we also need to remember that he's still a young boy. So he shouldn't be first choice anyway. Mm. He should be one of the young boys that's trying to break into the first team, not be given so much responsibility at such mm. a young age when he's in such a poor reign of form. Okay, and what's this I'm hearing about in your dossier that you want to bring back Lucas Perez? Yes. Why? Because if it doesn't work out for a Wobi, and plus Danny Welbeck, he's already stalling over his contract, only got a year left. So if he wants to go, we trade him in, we bring in Lucas Perez. We make money. Instead of Danny Welbeck? We make money, we save money. You make money on Danny Welbeck, don't have to replace him because we've got a ready-made one there already. Yeah, but he's a different type, he's not pacey. He could work very wing, well, he, he could you know, work very well on the wing. You know, You've got to remember our system is completely changing. But is he that hard-working person on the yes, wing? Yes, he is. Is he going to get down the flanks? From my, time, gonna... from my time in Spain, I remember him very well. <laughs> yeah, he liked that one, didn't he? He liked that yeah, one, right. didn't he? <laughs> he liked that one, didn't break character at all there. He liked that, didn't he? Yeah. And, um, and I think he was harshly treated. I okay. think he had a decent first season at the club. And I think that he was, he was, harshly, he was harshly treated. I really do think he was harshly treated. And I think that when you need someone to come on and you may be, maybe need a goal, he's got more composure and more finish about him than mm. Danny Welbeck has. OK. Thank you very much for your dossier. No problem. So, so Chips, can you call Mikel Arteta, please? This guy's crap here. <laughs> You're such a pussy. <laughs> such you know what, right? Um, <laughs> So anyway, there's lots of players there you're going to try and improve in that. But the thing is about this, right, is that Unai Emery, good, good appointment and all that. And we're happy. I think in, on the whole, I don't think fans would have been happy if Arteta had come in. Mm. Um, you know, they would have got behind him, but they weren't. I, I, I was, yeah. I was, uh, you know, I was even amazed that we were looking to do that because it's just not the right Look time. Look how nice our... it's been the last few days since Emery's been appointed. Everyone... When was the last time the fan base was all united watching a manager's press conference? Mm. We ain't seen him play yet, that's why. No, but do you know what I mean? <laughs> but, um, it was yeah, so no, nice was watching a was. press conference and not hearing mentally jaded. Mm. Or... Uh, yeah, it was fresh. It, it was, was fresh. nice. It was so different. It was like, mm. oh, wow. But the thing is now, is... it turns now to this, right? And we, we, we've got a week of, or a couple of weeks of niceties and stuff like that. But what I want to know now is that what are they going to do to back this guy? It's all very yeah. well and good. I mean, the reason why I'm doing the little dossier <clears throat> thing is just to show that, you know, those players that are there are not good enough okay, right, to so get us to where we need to be. We need, so if we're we still need in, to bring so people in. So if we're still in, in character, yeah? So, uh, Ivan, what are you going to give me to strengthen well, this I've team? Well, I've only got 50 million pounds. What can you do with that? I already know that's bullshit. I've only got 50 mil, man. I already, know. Hot, 50 million I already know it's bullshit. I've been told by a proper report. I'm not Joel Cross. <laughs> yeah, that is not But let, let, listen, you see, coming out of character a bit now, this is the thing that worries me, right? They've got to back this yeah, guy. Yeah, they have to. This rumours of £50 million and stuff like that, that is not going to be enough. No, it isn't. It isn't. They, the team, we need a goalkeeper, right? It's probably going to be this Leno guy it's looking like, but yeah. we need a goalkeeper. We need probably two centre-backs. We need a defensive midfielder. We need a winger. Yeah. For me, we need a winger. Mm -hmm. It's not Lucas Perez, for me, is not the answer to the wing situation. We need a proper winger that will come in and when he's got the ball, he draws people mm. out. I mean, you've got to remember as well that the Lucas Perez <clears throat> thing's all rumour. Arsenal should be giving, Arsenal should be giving Une Emery at least £150 million pounds to spend. Mm. At least. This, in my opinion, if not more, if they're seriously talking about getting back on track. And despite um, Ivan Gazidis, you know, yes, putting, you know, uh, what he said about the ITKs and all that was brilliant. There's one other bit that I picked up in that press conference is when he was asked about how you, have you got money? 
And he was not very specific. He said, listen, we've always got money. You can see our accounts. And that's not what I want to hear. What I want to hear is how I much know, money... But he's never going to turn around, Robbie, and say, yeah, 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 we've got 200 million to spend. Well, I wanted to hear him say, well, it's this reported no, 50 no, no, million. The, the, way, why, no, the, the same way, way in which no, he no. knocked back everything else. Why did he knock that back? Because, why did he say, because yeah, the moment... this reported talk about 50 million is rubbish. Do you know the why? The funds are there. Do you know why? Because the moment he says that, any club that we're in negotiation with go, oh, do you know what? Give us an extra 10 million for that guy. We changed our mind. Any club we're in negotiation with who've got proper players are going to want proper money anyway. Yes, right? but Robbie, no, what I'm saying is the money, transfer the... fee. The transfer fee is not the player. Yeah, this is not about wages and what you can pay the player because we've proven that yeah, we the... can pay big wages. We've got big wages. We've got Mesut Ozil you've got big, and, yeah, you've got big and wages, Bamian you and Mikatarian you know, and all that. Big what I'm wages is, doesn't mean nothing to the club you're buying is, from. No, but what I'm saying is you can look at a player that's 25 million. Like, let's take Nzonzi, for example. Sevilla don't want to get rid of him. Simple fact, right. right? You're not dealing with clubs that are going, yeah, you know what? Take one of our best players. Go on, off you go. So, you got so he's going to cost £30 million, pounds, something like that. Yeah. Right, with his age, 29. So about £30 million pound or something. Are they going to back him to The do moment that? Arsenal turn around and start going, nah, £50 million, what a load of rubbish. We've got loads of money. Sevilla go, you know what, £40 million. No, not loads of money, but you can, put, you can put that down. You can put that to bed. You can say, yo... This talk about fifty million pounds listen, is crap. There's only one way that it's going to get. Because Arsenal not going to be able to go to these clubs and plead poverty. Yeah, They're not there's, stupid. But there's only one way it's going to be put to bed, and that's by when we kick off on the first game of the season. The transfer window will be shut. There will be no more business to be done. There will be no. Let's see how we get on for the first couple of games, and then go and buy what we need just in case when it's all too late. No, 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 that's no. That's what no, I'm no, saying. Listen, there's none of that. But we need to know now. What are the, I want to know. How is he going to back? The new manager that they've brought in, the new coach, we'll should I out. say, right? They've got Miss Lintat and that, right? And I don't, gonna, want it, I don't want it to be just this little bargain bucket stuff that yeah, I've seen going gonna, on so we're gonna far. We're going to find out. It's great that these guys can go out and they can spot a player that can potential and stuff like that. But this team right now, if we're to get back challenging, think of the teams that were above us last season. Liverpool finished in fourth. And they were miles better than us last We're season. We're going to find out. Miles, and they're strengthening. They're buying, you know, they're buying KTRs coming in and Nabil Fakir. They, 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 you know, they, what are we going to do to get to get into that fourth place? We'll find place? out. Well, are you, do you trust these guys? Do you trust them? We've seen the new system. We've seen the changes. But do we, we trust have to, these? We have to give them a bit of trust now because they said... I am they, a bit worried because, about this. Well, I'm worried, but... We do have to give them that bit of leeway and that bit of trust right now because they said they were going to have change. They said they were going to do things and they've actually started being good to their word. And they're doing mm. what we, they've said they're going to do. Who are they looking at at the moment? Socrates, for instance. No, I heard, yeah. that, I heard that he's probably going to Man United. Right, but... Rumour, rumour, by the way, I'm not an in the know. <laughs> so, yeah. But that's one of the players they're looking at. I wouldn't want him anyway. Need? No, no, no. I'd rather you at centre-back. <laughs> Well, he's not out back. Robbie Tees. Yeah. <laughs> Robbie Tees. But that could be what we're getting. No, nah, I don't think that is. I think that... So who? What sort of, what sort of centre? That is a critical position, right? Centre back for us, right? We, we need... Uh, you remember, Koscielny's going to be out for a long, long time. We don't know what's going to happen with Mustafi. Yeah, we I, need a proper centre back. I can't, centre I can't back. pronounce his name, but there's that Turkish lad. Yeah, but he's 21. I know. But what I'm saying is him and then... A proper, yeah. you know, commanding... Somebody like a Cooley Barley that would cost like £75 million, pounds, right? But we're obviously not going to be willing to pay that. So how do we then get past... Has he got a release clause? I'm not sure, but all I know is that... You listen, I Virgil release van Dijk, about 50 odd million. If Virgil van Dijk went for £75 million, they're going to be wanting he, similar yeah, if he, types if of he hasn't got, if he, if he hasn't got... I don't know, you know. Do you know what seems to be a little bit weirder as well is that you seem to be able to buy a lot cheaper from foreign clubs than whether you're going between England and England. There seems to be just yeah, this big bump all of a sudden when you're transferring to another English club. Cooley Barley would be nothing less, I don't think, than, say, 70 million. Mm. Right? But it's he, whether he's got a release clause. He, at the moment, is one of the best centre-backs out there that you could possibly get away from from this club, right? And how much that's, is it? How that's much the calibre... That's the calibre of centre back I'm looking at and so, saying. So that how much is Leno? Fifteen? Didn't he have the keeper? 
Yeah, how much yeah, he'll probably no. He, he put, he'd probably about twenty. Was it was about fifteen, twenty? They were saying. Yeah, so let, let, let's say that, got thirty million let, left. Let, no, let's play. <laughs> let's say we're playing devil's advocate here, right? You say without anyone going out yet, right? You say Kudabale, right? Let's just say for argument's sake, seventy million, mm -hmm. right? Leno, twenty million, right? This young lad, what was he? 10, 15 or something, I can't... Who, the, 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 the kid from Bayer Leverkusen? Yeah. It, no, no, he's more than it, that. We're rated more? at about 25 million. A lot right, of clubs okay, are looking so you're at talking... Uh, so what they're probably... So you've gone over so, 100 million then? So you're talking 110, 115 million, and then add in Zonzi onto that. Um, right, so you're you, so, to, you're, so you're probably talking to get these kind of players and everything you want up to the 150 million, which is what I you said. said yeah. Right? Then you take into account what you can sell. Right. right, Mustafi, you probably get twenty million for him. Right. All right. So you take that off the total, that drops it down to one thirty. Danny Welbeck, what you get for him? Five. Twenty again. Ten. No, you get more than that. He's still How quite much a do young you pay guy. For him? We pay fifteen million for him. I still think Danny Welbeck's an England international. Mm -hmm. He's Depends still World Cup, yeah. he's still quite young. Um, he has a decent World know. Cup. Let's say Danny Welbeck yeah. fired England to the World Cup. Well, then we keep we could him. sell him for like <laughs> 80 million. But he, no, he wouldn't be worth that much. But he's, <laughs> Dan, Danny Welbeck, Danny Welbeck would be 25 million. Yeah, I think that they I think with sales, um, with sales in there, you can probably recuperate 50, 60 million back. Recoup. Re no, yeah, recuperate. <laughs> That's what I've been doing for the last few weeks. You know what? I've been doing it so much that. The, yeah, <laughs> we'll re recoup. We'll sorry. That, um, that you'll probably get 50, 60 million back. So. Give or take, you probably spend a hundred million. Yeah, well, that's not fifty million, is it? Which because is the because amount that's not. Yeah, because it's got. not. Uh, that is not the amount. Let's get that right. That's, that's not the no, amount. No, I worry that it, I worry that it could be something around about that. Not, around about not much more than that. Because honestly, he knows that that talk has been out there for a long time. But then it might this, not. It might not be in Zonzi. He it might knows be Siri. about this reported fifty million, right? And I'm just not. I just didn't like. The fact that he didn't come out and just say, yeah, there'd be people talking about 50 listen, million. We, Let's see listen, what happens or something like that. I mean, listen, uh, we we had pictures of Ivan Gazidis standing next to fucking Aubameyang's car in Dortmund airport and 40,000 Arsenal fans were watching Aubameyang's plane fly over from Dortmund to England and nobody from the club still denied, like, we're going, yeah. No one said a word. Mm. Even though we all knew what was happening, we've also seen in the past this. Yes, club we've seen not in the past. Spend, but what I'm saying is, the but money. what I'm saying is, Robbie. Yes, we've seen it in the past. But what and I'm saying is, and they've in a manager now that they know that this guy's good at getting the best out of players, good at working with what he's got. He's not. He's not going to be a Antonio Conte moaning about this player and that player. Why haven't I got this? Why haven't I got that? And they know that this but guy. But he also work. knows. So that are he they needs looking at it strengthen. now that, that this guy, you know, he's going to be able to? Because one of the reasons they reckon Arteta was not willing to, you know, because he was moaning about the amount of money, the budget out there. No, no player... Said John Cross. No, <laughs> no player, no player actually turned around and pulled himself out of the reckoning for the Arsenal job. Mikel Arteta wanted a job. Arsenal had cold feet. Simple as that. Fifty million pounds. I it's think one hundred and fifty million we need. Listen, and if, I, if I could be positive... I, I, I think hundred and fifty million we can, without even selling anyone. Mm. Is what we need. But I'm saying, if the club to want add to, to what we got already, I'm saying, if the club do want to, you know, recoup some, recoup, yeah, <laughs> recoup some, then um, yeah, we can because there's players in there that we do. Yeah, but you know, it's all right recouping, but you then got to replace those players that you. So that's more money again. You need to replace those players. So if you sell at Danny Well, but you 100% then need to bring in a player who can play out on white. Which means then you but need then, to start looking at quality players then, out wide. Like, and you yes, saw even guys then, like uh, Malcolm and people no, like that we listen, were linked to before. But then, they want 50 million for these guys. But then maybe that's the option they're going with if, if the Dembele thing's true. Because that's not paying anything. It's a loan deal. Uh, uh, listen, listen, we are going to see. And you've got to remember, we have got the connection there because Miss Lantat was the one who took him to Dortmund. Knows him very well. Abamyang and yeah, um, Dembele. You still need money. No, no, but no, but you, it's a loan. Yeah, I've heard of you know the loan thing and Dembele things a possibility. So that's you what know. I'm saying. So then you could um, replace. Club was well, the right? first person to talk about that, by the way. So you, you Long could before uh, everybody else said it. Oh, yeah, like get it back. No, out. he did. Get he it back did. out. Plug did Where actually the first one. <laughs> I thought he was going mad, but now but, I've heard um, loads of people. 
You know, that but, is a possibility. But what I'm saying but, is, yeah, so that the defensive side, you get rid of Mustafi and people like that, then you're replacing them with the likes of Akuda Bale, for example, or this young, I still can't pronounce his name, I don't think they'll ever mm, fucking that's will. Problem I, see, problem I see at the moment You get is rid that, of Espina, you're replacing him with Leno. Mm. So you're replacing players. Yeah, but the problem I see at the moment is that... With better players. They ain't going to get Akuda Bale. They're not going to go for that calibre. You know, well, we'll find the, out. You know, where Liverpool went and said, Van Dyke, we need to fix this problem. And he's, we know he's going to be very expensive. But they went bold and got him. Well, we'll find out. I'm just not we'll find convinced. Out. We, listen, Robbie, moment, Robbie, look. The Arsenal are going to go... Of all, me of all people saying this, yeah, but we've got to give them that bit of leeway now to prove it. We have to. Because we've sat and moaned and moaned and moaned and moaned. And I know you don't moan as much as me on camera. All right? People, <laughs> people don't see this guy off camera. Yeah? But... At the end of the day, we've asked for change, we've got change. Ivan Gazidi said the catalyst for change and all this and that, mm. we're seeing that. But we all need to the, see a change. Yes, in, in the, the, in we, the trans- We've yes. seen a change in the, in the structure. I know, but in what the I'm saying is... But, but I want to see a change in their spending. Yes, but we're going to see that. So what I'm saying is, so far, we've seen a change in everything they've said they're going to do. Now it's at the final hurdle. Which is the spending. Well, what I'm saying is, yeah, I'm not. Are we, we going to see a change in the spending? Yes, but because Robin, I, 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 you're not again, listening. we need even to give a them lot leeway. of the players that we're looking at at the moment are not those elite players. Bobby, these are just names that are being banded around by the press. No one from the club. No, they, they, well, the club are never going to band around. Like you no, said, the club exactly. never band so around. So let's names. just wait and see. But there's certain players they're definitely looking at. Listen, they're definitely looking at Leno. Yes, they're definitely let's looking wait at, and see what happens. Right? Let's now wait and see. At the end of the day, let's. Let's give them that little bit of grace now because they've gone out there, they've done what they've had to do. Everyone that that was connected to Arsene Wenger and has been at the club for 20 odd years, mm. they've gone bye bye out the door. Here's a severance package. See you later. Thank you very much for your services. Goodbye. They've cleared out all of the past mm. and they're bringing in fresh people. But they're and, not. You know, a new goalkeeping coach is coming in, which is is, is his actual goalkeeping mm. coach. Um, the video analysis. Is, is his own one. Assistant manager is his own one. So all of the areas that we need to work on mm. are being changed. That's excellent. But if you don't spend Yes, the but right Robbie, give them the money. time. They've only just... The, no, man, I, I, the man's I, I, literally course. just drove out of Colney for the first time yesterday. Of, of so course. what I'm saying is, is just like... No, I'm not on about Unai Emery. I'm sure Unai Emery yes, will yes, have but his what targets. I'm but is, I'm saying... I'm worried there's one person that's still there that was in there from before when it comes to spending money, and that's Ivan Gazidis, right? And well, like, let's find out. And it's the same owners of this football club, let's right? Everyone out. else has gone, but those people have got the money. It's the same. Now, I'm worried, right, when I look at the players that they're looking at at the moment, and don't get me wrong, a lot of times you've got to buy players like nobody thought at the start of the season that Mo Salah was going to be the best player in the Premier League when they bought him Liverpool for £35 million. But I just don't see, at the moment, Arsenal seeming to be targeting any of those elite players out there. I but, and I think that but with you Arsenal, just, you we, just could do, on it. we could do with a couple of elite players you've if just we're going to get back but to where we want to get... But you've just touched on it, right? When Mo Salah signed for Liverpool, one player. we laughed. I never laughed. Loads of people did. No, I never because laughed. Because we remember his time. Bits in Roma. Yeah, but so I but never laughed. A lot of people. I didn't remember, know he did. A, le- a lot of people remember his time in England, which was shocking. It wasn't he was shocking. having. Yes, it he was when he was chance. at Chelsea. He didn't get a chance. When the man did get a chance, he was having shots that hit the corner flag. No, he didn't get a chance. Yeah, he did. Listen, he was poor, but nobody expected him to do what he, he did. Was so rude what by I'm Marino saying over here. at the end of the day, right? Attacking wise, we've got the. The, the name players like and yeah. Aubameyang and stuff like that. Defensive players are never going to really get you excited. They're not going to give you a hard oh, on and make it. you say, yeah, let's go up and have a wankiller sock well, about you, it. You, you like your wankiller <laughs> sock, innit? Like, no, but listen, no, but they're not. They're not them type no, of players. I don't know, man. When Liverpool fans, when they signed um, Virgil van Dijk, they were yes, excited. Yes, but what I'm saying is he's that there's elite, only a few. There's only a yeah, few. Yeah, so I want to see us being linked with some of those few. Why are we not being linked with Cooley Barley? Why are we not... You know, now, why is it? Because we don't know yet. We're, we're, why are we being we don't know. This is Socrates. We don't know yet. You know, a guy that's like nearly 30 years of age. We don't know. He's been around, didn't really have a great season last year for Dortmund. Why are those, you know, come, a, a player, a player that's coming towards the end of his contract, one year left so he can get on the cheap? This is what's worrying me. I'm not saying that these deals are bad deals. 
because some of those players can turn out to be really good buys. But what I'm saying is, amongst those, I want to see us being linked to top, top, top quality players. And when you get linked to those players or you go to get those players, you've got to have a lot of money to get them. So we'll find out. Will Arsenal cough up that money? And that's what worries me. You know what I mean? It's all great making all these other changes. That's brilliant. And change was needed. But there's one other change. And that needs to be in their mindset and in their attitude when it comes to spending money. We'll find out. Well, you we'll seem to have out. a lot more faith than... Well, we have to because of what they've done. And at the end of the day, the club can't moan. I bought... Because um, that's one change that I, ain't been made. I renewed it? my season ticket this week. So that was nearly 900 quid they've got towards transfers. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so they're, they're all right. Do you know what I mean? Nearly 900 pounds. Jesus Christ, man. Well. Makes you think, doesn't it? I even... Do you know the best thing though? Because I even got my mum and dad's this year. Because they've got a season ticket. They always have. I mean, my dad's 76 and my mum's 72. Jesus, don't get that wrong. And, um, <laughs> and um, yeah, and they've got a season ticket and everything and have done for years. And But yeah, I've got theirs this year. Optimistic? Yeah, I am. I am because it's a, it's a new start. It's a new approach. It's new ideas. It's a new f sense of optimism. I like the fact that players are not going to be comfortable anymore. Mm. Maybe Hector Bellerin's going to actually concentrate more on the pitch than his modelling career. You know, and maybe he's actually going to go and have someone to teach him how to defend properly, when to go, when not to go. You know, Lee Dixon said it. He's spoken to Steve Bold and said, someone to tell him. Mm. You know, he watches him play and he just pulls his hair out going, what's he doing? He needs someone to coach him properly. He's a young boy. Should never have had the responsibility put on his shoulders that he's had. The only right back at Arsenal Football Club. Are you mad? Do you know what I mean? At his age. Come on, Robbie. So I had a rumour that Arsenal looking at Stefan Lichtensteiner. I'm not putting that name on my shirt. Imagine <laughs> how much that cost. Do you know what I mean? We seem, to be, going with all these, we seem to be going with all these like um, huge names. Like, like mm. literally huge names. Maybe that's the idea Cheap of a big name. Abamyang. Mm. Mavra Panos. <laughs> They're your big names. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's no, but at the end of the day, we've got to give him that leeway. We've got to mm. because we've demanded change. We said we want to see. Back your talk, Ivan. What was the song? Ivan Gazidis, what the fuck do you do? Well, he's turned around and said, Yeah, this is what I do. Mm. So he's done that part. We're at the he's final. He's done that part, of, but the one part that, I, I want to see, right? The but change. Yeah, I want to see I'm a change is, in the spending. I'm not going to go into the season and right now with a negative mindset and thinking, oh, Yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to let that thing. get me down and. I'm going to wait and see what they do. And if they don't go out there and back the new manager and put him, you know, through hell, basically, because they're going to throw him into the fire if they don't back him, yeah, then that banner will have Ivan written on it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ivan, thanks for the memories, but it's time to say goodbye. And well, then, yeah, well, they are under a lot of pressure. And, now this, and this is the thing, this is what gives me a little bit of hope, is the fact that they know they're under serious pressure. And... One of the things that's quite clear and what they were saying is that they put the feelers out there with the Arteta thing to gauge the feedback from the fans so they know what's going on. They know that it's fractious. They know there's a divide. So they want to see what we're all thinking. And the moment they realised it was just pure negativity, yeah, it was know. like... The nah. Mikel Arteta thing, what made me laugh is that he's, a lot of the press guys were talking him up, but every, I mean... I oh, there's a surprise. I, I did you know what the press guys were talking him up? Because they knew that it would probably fail and they could get all their little clicks. <laughs> yeah, that's... And uh, various, that. various, various polls that we did on Arsenal Fan TV, like... Just it was like unanimous. 80%. Yeah, unanimous. And no, the club has seen all these I mean, things. I'm like, and the club have decided, you know what, we can't take that big a gamble. Mm. So they've done the first step, which is hire someone that's got a pedigree behind him. He's won 10 trophies in the last five years. That's more than Guardiola. Mm. That's more than Mourinho. Yes, seven never, of those... He's never beaten them too, by the way. He was, See, a man he, was a, he was manager at Sevilla and Valencia while they were managing two of the biggest clubs in the world in those periods, Real Madrid and Barcelona. Mm. So if they don't pull give it, the, it into context. Money to spend, it could be a similar yeah, thing. But pull it into context. <laughs> at the end of the day, he won three Europa Leagues. Ah, oh, look at that. I thought I'd pull it on silent. What can I say? You're always so professional. Sorry, it's my agent. No, it's not. It's your dad. <laughs> Who's to say my dad ain't my agent? You know what I mean? Yeah, he must have just heard me talking about buying a season ticket. He's like, you know what I mean? But it's like, at, at the end of the day, like I said to you, Robbie, yeah, that 
you know, we just let's let's just back him, back him and mm. not the manager because we we're going to back him anyway, regardless of what he gets to spend in the transfer window. Mm. It's just that our focus will turn. I'm glad that you. I'm board. glad you got this attitude. It's good. It's good. Um, missing Arsene yet? No. Can't wait. Must be I'm not. I'm so it's glad it's over. Seems, still no. seems a bit weird. He's not no. there. No. No. I was looking at the other day, Emery talking and that, and I was like, wow, is this is. No, it's. I'm glad surreal. it's over. Someone put up a picture yesterday of Emery at Colney, and in the background, it looked like Arsene Wenger in the trees. <laughs> <laughs> as someone put this comment up saying Arsene's still at Colney saying goodbye to the trees individually as he said that he'd have to go and say goodbye to him didn't he oh, but at the end of the day it's done Robbie it's no, over it's, it's done. finished it's it is. done so, uh, this it's is a, when, you, when you it. see Emery there it's the start of a new era it's it is official. it's a new era and let's not burden him with the whole mm. comparison of Arsene Wenger that's one thing mm. we don't want to go down we don't and wanna... it's exciting times so yeah I, as I said my only worry is that these you know he's a coach so yes, he, 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 I just want these. I just want these guys to back this guy, and we will right. find out whether they do or not. Yeah. And that and that's the thing. And we're going to mm. find that out. And I'm I'm positive. I'm looking forward to the season. I'm looking to forward to some holidays. I'm looking forward to pre-season tours. Do you know what I mean? And it's just oh, um, do you like the new kit? The new the no. new home kit. No. no? I like it. Looks like my seven-year-old decided. I must be one of the few people. Um, that I've spoken to that like it. Probably because you, you get it for free. I wish. I like it. I, I prefer it to last. Right. Do you know what? I like, I, I like the I like the design of it. No, I hate the neck. That's the bit I don't like. That piece here. I didn't like yeah, last no. year. I didn't like. I never knew whether to button that up no, or to let it. I, 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 didn't, I don't mind. I didn't mind. I, 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 that's a bit too open, and it shows all my tattoos, and I look more of a fug. <laughs> and I probably won't get let in anywhere. Um, so to wear a polo neck underneath it. But yeah, he's. Do you know what the thing is? It looks better on the players. Once I've seen the players in it, the problem is, and also is when that you see it, I've actually seen it up close, right? And it, it, it's and nice. no, it does look nice. But what? And even the bit I know a lot of people are moaning about the bit on the sleeves. Oh, I think it's all right. Rwanda forever. And it's got and Rwanda. It, it, visit Rwanda, Rwanda forever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> visit, visit Rwanda. Um, but no, no. Rwanda. The thing is, is that I looked at it on the players. And I thought, you know what, it looks really nice on them. But the problem is, is that we ain't got the body of the players. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So I'm not paying £100 for one of them tight fit. I have already ordered, have already ordered it, by the way. There you go. But it, Because the club are doing a little something, so I thought I'd give back. And it was like, I ordered my kids, like, the kit and everything. Because regardless, I have to get it for them every year. Because, mm. you know, that's what you do, man. You see me so, away one? Yeah, well, there's two, isn't there? There's like the mint green and yeah, the I'm not blue. sure about that. I, mean, I don't know, mine because Troops was telling me he loves that one. I know, I don't mind that because that's mm. like my favourite colour, Cornetto. <laughs> I, like, it, I don't mind it? that blue one, but I just don't understand why they didn't bring back the black again. Not the same, but oh. that black kit from oh. last year was really well. We've had that route again, are we? What? Oh, can't we have a white one, though? <laughs> It have to be black, Well, you it? know what? They've got, a white, they've got like <laughs> a, a white training thing. I know, I see your comment. Tottenham. I know, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with white either. But it's... I'm not so sure about the actual away kit, which is the blue and the burgundy. I don't mm. know whether it's burgundy or whether Sorry, it's... it looks burgundy like a burgundy Or whether it's red shorts. current, like from my last year yeah, with Highbury. It's kind the of red current. The pictures, you can't really... You, until mm. you see it, you see it. Mm. But at the end of the day, I've ordered it. Um, I wear it with pride. I'm glad it's a final year with Puma. Hopefully we can move on to... Who would you want next? Adidas. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Rumours is going to be Umbro. No, I hope it's Adidas. Cause I've got, <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm, I'm really hoping it's Adidas because I've got discount codes. So, <laughs> 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 so I'm all right. If, it, if it's Adidas, then I'm, I'm like, yes, <laughs> loving that one. But Nike used to make some nice kits. Yeah, they well, used yeah. to. But, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. And, you know, I noticed... Look, as long as the players can go out there and perform in it, yeah, I don't exactly. give a shit exactly. what it looks like. And if, exactly. You know, and, and that's the same with the away. Yes, the the sentimental side of me and the old side of me sits there and says, I want yellow and blue. I don't want it. To, I wanted us to bring back a yellow kit this year. I don't... You know. I, I believe that the away kit should stay yellow and blue. And then the third kit is where they can go mad. Mm. That's the one where you can go, right, let's try something completely out of the mm. box. But they're literally going outside of the box for every single one. Well, you, the problem is because they change the kits every year now. Yeah. So if you've got a That's home bad, kit which it? is red with white sleeves, 
not a lot you can do in it. Or you can just change. You, you can't mess with the white sleeves. Everyone will go ballistic. Yeah, but they have. They put all that. Well, you, you know, yeah, and even just by doing a little minor thing like that, everyone's gone mad. So yeah. there's not. What can you do to a red and white kit? How long will it be before they actually change the red and white? No, they never. They couldn't get away with that. There will be uproar. Fans would lose it then. They there will be uproar. You, well, you say that the Cardiff chairman did it, didn't he? Yeah, well, you saw what happened. I oh, know, yeah, they went mad and he back. changed it back yeah. to blue, didn't he? Yeah, you know, and so it was too it, right as well. You know what yeah. I mean? Their fans, they were right with doing that. But that's the thing, that's the tradition. But I just mm. believe that we should have a yellow and blue yeah, um, for an away one. And then the third kit should be where you go for your black and pinks or your navy and mm. mint green. and Because you're going to sit there and go, yeah, you know what, it's the third kit. Yeah, mm. fuck it. go outside the box and just try something mm. different. But when they're doing it to it all, it's just kind of like, do they really know the tradition of the club? Do they At the end of the day, as I always say, right? But it's money. I, I've always say, and I've spoken to people before, these kit manufacturers and that, and they say, yo, kits ain't really aimed at you guys, you older guys anyway. They're aimed at the youngsters. Mm. And the youngsters do like a bit of innovation on the kits. Yeah. And they will go out and buy it in droves. Yeah. But what really makes a kit sell is when you go and buy some players, right? With some big name players. Yeah. So when you've got their name on the back, those go flying out. Yeah. So please, go, I'm hoping that and, they make some and, positive uh, signs. i tell you the one thing that annoyed me, actually. When I got the kit last week and I ordered it, um, my youngest is like two. I got names on their back. Like my seven-year-old, he wanted his name and everything else. And I wanted to, like my little boy, he always goes around the house and he kicks when he's kicking the ball and he's shooting and everything he's always shouting Aubameyang constantly he loves Aubameyang and Lacazette they're the two um with Lacazette it's the way you pronounce it obviously he doesn't say it properly but mm. um I wanted Aubameyang on the back of his shirt but he didn't have the option because he's too big for the size of the shirt his name right. yeah I was gutted so he's got Lacazette but I was gutted man I was like no nah, they, they, they don't Uber. do that I was gonna put Uber but then it was as much as a Bamian, believe it or not. <laughs> really random. But, yeah, it's, you know, they're a lot of money, aren't they? A lot, lot of money, money man. A Ridiculous, money. man. 55 quid? Yeah. Like the boys with... The, boy, no, got, with, the, the boys with the additions of the numbers and everything mm. were more than the adults. I think it went to 61, something like that. I kind of got away with it last year because my son is at Academy, right? And they have to wear their kit all the times. And so I just go, eh, you're never going to wear it. He goes, but this year... He's That's already, why Kieran he, doesn't get one. Yeah, so he's already said to me this year, I, Dad, I didn't get the yeah. Arsenal kitten last year. And, and Robbie's already on I, the phone to man's I, I, dad, Carnaby Street at Puma, going, hey, <laughs> can we do another um, launch this year? Shut yeah, and um, can we go there? Will you give me a free one? Yeah, Shut I, up. Yeah, just give me and, a uh, medium. Uh, give me a medium. <laughs> I swear it's for me. Medium, medium. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, you know what, I'm going to get it for him because I don't want him going off and uh, starting to get kits from, or wanting to pick up kits from other teams. So I will get mm. it, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you kids know go through that it. phase when they're like seven, yeah. eight and so. My seven-year-old, yeah. he turned around and go, can I have a Real Madrid kit with Ronaldo? I was like, yeah? Yeah, my, my, my son, he loves Ronaldo. You think you're getting that shirt there? Yeah. Nah, you can do a celebration. <laughs> you ain't wearing it. <laughs> well, listen, come towards the end of the show. It's a brave new era. At Arsenal Football Club, the new man is in place. I know. I think, we, do you know what? I, think, I think we should change our logo as well for the yeah. new season. All right. I think we should. What do you want a logo to wear? I want a picture of me on it. Nah. I, I'm joking. Uh, I think we should change the logo. New season, new start all round, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? I reckon you should grow your hair back with that little side fade. Crucial Robbie. You should shave off your beard. Yeah? You've got no chance of that. It shows on my chin. I'll, 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 I'll <laughs> grow some hair. You shave off a beard. Can beard. you grow hair? Clean shave. Can yeah, you I grow, grow hair? hair? I can grow hair. Go away. You've got to be clean shaved though. Behave yourself, man. See, when you do I'm that... I'm trying to look where your hairline is. <laughs> Hairline's still there, man. No, man. I reckon that goes back as far as the Invincibles. Black note cracking up, bro. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> but, Thanks for watching the show. Yeah, man. Right, we'll be back again next week. Don't forget, right... Um. We're going to be moving into where we're going to be doing like a load of specials on the World Cup. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff around the World Cup. You coming out? Mm. You coming out of Russia? All right, so... Yeah, man. Um, They've scrapped visas, so I'm allowed in. <laughs> 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 yeah, because that was the big myth, wasn't it? Why I wasn't there in Russia. Fools. You were sick. Exactly, but some people thought it's because I couldn't get a visa. Oh, I, I actually went into hospital... Bought the gowns and everything from eBay <laughs> and then got a, a makeup artist to draw the um, the injuries on my stomach and everything. 
dickheads. <laughs> so, um, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff around the World Cup. AFTV going to be doing the World Cup, so make sure you check out all of the stuff for there. And we've got our regular features there. And, of course, we'll be doing our podcast throughout the Legends summer. Legends game. And, yeah, you guys, um, I'm going to miss that, but you guys are off to the Legends game next week. Um, so make sure you check out Mr. DT. He's going to be over there with Arsenal Fan TV. I can't wait. You Legends know what my game. first line's going to be to a fan? Disappointing result today. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, it's, uh, if, if you don't know about that game, it's Arsenal legends are taking on Real Madrid legends and the first game is at the Bernabeu and these guys, will be, behave yourself out there next week, yeah, because you're will. representing us. Oh, do you know what yeah? it is to say? It's the Madrid police, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'll tell you what, no, you know oh. what, I'll tell you know what, misbehave, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you see them? I, I, saw, I see where the Arsenal fans have lodged a complaint. Yeah, about they've them. actually, they actually were, gone to the Spanish embassy. They the went British in. The Spanish embassy or something or another. But um, yeah, hopefully they go a little bit easier on us next week because it's only a friendly, <laughs> so they might not be as they crazy. May have watched but... the, they may have watched the um, podcast where you were slagging them off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shit, I didn't think I'd be going back so soon. I was like, they're in the Champions League next year. I can say what the fuck I want about Madrid. And they're like, you. <laughs> Standing there waiting at the airport with their batons. They I'm like, some, yeah, they just... They had some just, long batons, mate. Just, yeah, just, just go me. with towel, man. Just, um, let, go for the cameraman. That's, but, uh, that's that, it, that should so. be good. That should be good yeah, next be, week. So look out good. for that next that'd week. Um, we're going to be over there in Madrid. Um, so, and thanks for watching and we'll be back next week. <laughs>